Hello, welcome to this new episode. Now, on this episode, we are going to solve past question. Elective Mathematics WASI 2022. Before we begin, kindly subscribe to the YouTube channel Maths with Mikkel. Maths with Mikkel. And put us on post notification so that anytime you drop a video, you'll be the first to be notified. Now, Elective Mathematics WASI 2022. The first question was, Solve 3 exponent s plus 243 multiplying 3 exponent negative s minus 36 is equal to 0. So let's begin. The solution. 3 exponent s plus 243 multiplying 3 exponent negative s minus 36 is equal to 0. Now, we realize there's a little challenge here. 3 exponent negative s. But you remember this property in indices that a exponent negative n is equal to 1 over a exponent n. So we're going to apply this property here. So we get 3 exponent s plus 243 multiplying 1 over 3 exponent s minus 36 is equal to 0. Realize that we have 3 exponent s and 3 exponent s. So we can equate any variable to 3 exponent s. So let m to be equal to 3 exponent s. What this means is, Wherever we see 3 exponent s in our equation, we replace it with m. So we are going to get m plus 243 multiplying 1 over m minus 36 is equal to 0. Very good. Now, you continue. m plus, now 243 multiplying 1 over m is the same as 243 over m minus 36 is equal to 0. Now we find the LCM, and our LCM here is m. So we multiply through by our LCM, which is the m. And that gives us m times m plus 243 over m, multiplying the m, and the negative 36 also multiplying m. And of course, m times 0 will still be 0 here. So we're going to get m squared. This will cancel that, get plus 243 minus 36m is equal to 0. So let's rearrange this equation well. We get m squared minus 36m plus 243 is equal to 0. Now, this equation here looks like an equation we already know. It is a s squared plus b x plus c is equal to 0. And this is the general formula for the quadratic equation. Now, how do we solve an equation like this? You multiply the coefficient of the s squared by the constant, which is c, and find the factors of that answer. Now, from the factors, you pick two numbers that when we add or subtract, we can get the coefficient of the s, in this case, the b. But when we multiply the two numbers, we get the answer, which was the multiplication of the a and c. So we are going to apply the same thing in our equation here. So, the two factors here will be 27 and 9. When we multiply 27 and 9, we are going to get 243. And when we subtract negative 27 and negative 9, we get 
negative 36. So let's continue. You get m squared minus 27m minus 9m plus 243 is equal to 0. Now our equation has changed from 3 terms to 4 terms here. So we group them, get m squared minus 27m in one bracket. We put negative 9m plus 243 in another bracket. Now, from the first bracket here, we can factor m out. We'll be left with m minus 27. In our second bracket, we can factor negative 9 out. And we'll be left with m minus 27 is equal to 0. Now, if your two factors are correct, then at this point, whatever you get in your first bracket should be the same as what you get in your second bracket. So, we take the terms outside the brackets, that's m minus the 9, and one of the two terms, which is m minus 27, is equal to 0. So from here, we can say that m minus 9 is equal to 0, and m minus 27 is also equal to 0. So let me continue here. m minus 9 is equal to 0, therefore m is equal to 9. The other one is m minus 27 is equal to 0 and m will be equal to positive 27. Now, at this point, you were not asked to find m. We introduced the m into the question ourselves. We let m to be equal to 3 exponent s. So we continue on by saying that but our m is equal to 3 exponent s. We have 2m here. So if m is equal to 9, then we get 9 is equal to 3 exponent s. 3 squared is the same as 9 is equal to 3 exponent s. Now from indices, since the base are the same, we can conclude by saying that s is equal to 2. Now, if m is equal to 27 for the second answer here, then we can say that 27 is equal to 3 exponent s. 27 is 3 exponent 3 is equal to 3 exponent s. So from here, we conclude that s is equal to 3. So finally, we say that s is equal to 2 and 3. So this is the answer for WASI elective mass 2022. This is the answer for question 1. Now, question 2. Binary operation. We are asked to solve this binary operation. A binary operation is defined on the set of real numbers by p operated on q is equal to p squared minus q squared all over 4, where p q belongs to real numbers. Now, first question. Evaluate 2 operated on 3 over 5. And the second question, which is the B, says that if S operated on 6 is equal to 3 whole number 1 over 4, find the value of S. So let's continue. Solution. We are being asked to evaluate 2 operated on... I've changed the operation sign. 2 operated on 3 
over 5 as the a now they defined the operation sign for us by stating that p operated on q is equal to p squared minus q squared all over 4 from this we can deduce that p is equal to 2 so our first term p is the 2 and the second term which is q is the same as the 3 over 5 <clears throat> so let's do the substitution 2 operated on 3 over 5 is going to give us the first term squared minus the second term squared all over 4 so our first term here is 2 2 squared minus our second term is 3 over 5 all squared and everything here is over 4 this is going to give us 4 minus 3 over 5 all squared here is going to be 9 over 25 and everything here over 4 you can easily punch everything on the calculator 4 minus 9 9 over 25 all over 4 and we get 91 over 100 as our answer so 2 operated on 3 over 5 is equal to 99 over 100 per the definition of the operation sign now the b if s operated on 6 is equal to 3 whole number 1 over 4 find the value of s s operated on 6 is equal to 3 whole number 1 over 4 S operated on 6 is equal to, we change 3 whole number 1 over 4 from mixed fraction to improper fraction. And this is going to give us 4 times the 3, which is 12, plus 1 is 13 over 4. So, if we perform this operation, X operated on 6 then our answer should be equal to 13 over 4. For the sake of space, I'll continue on from this side. So, the definition is P operated on Q is equal to P squared minus Q squared all over 4. So, X operated on 6 is going to give us s squared minus 6 squared all over 4 but we know that x operated on 6 is the same as 13 over 4 so we get 13 over 4 is equal to s squared minus 6 squared all over 4. Now our LCM here is 4. We can do cross multiply and we continue. We can equally multiply through with the LCM. So I'm going to do that. 4 times 13 over 4 is equal to S squared minus C squared all over 4 times 4. So this will cancel that, this will cancel that. We'll be left with 13 is equal to f squared minus c squared. So we are going to get 13 minus c squared, sorry, 13 plus c squared is equal to our f squared. 13, now c squared, we know c squared is the same as 36 is equal to f squared. 13 plus 36 is 49 
So 49 is equal to S squared. We take square root on both sides. Square of 49 is equal to square root of S squared. So we get S to be equal to plus or minus 7. So our answer is S is equal to plus or minus 7. So if you want to check whether your answer is correct, you can substitute positive 7 using the same definition for the operation sign to check whether you get 13 over 4 or 3 or number 1 over 4. So on this episode, we looked at WASI elective mass 2022. That's past question. Question 1 and question two now once again this is maths with Mikel. kindly subscribe to the youtube channel and more videos are going to come your way my name is michael alote subscribe to the youtube channel share this video to your friends so that they can equally learn for watching this video please subscribe like and share this video see you in the next